All right, Jay Stan here. It's July 12th, 2012. And I just want to say, you are beautiful. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you look like. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how short you are. I don't care how skinny you are. I don't care how bulk you are. I don't care how fat you are. I don't care what you look like, what your hair looks like. I don't care. You got tattoos. You don't have tattoos. You got piercings. Whatever style clothes you wear, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that you know that you are beautiful. And that's all that matters. And as long as you know that, no one can tell you different. And it's not to say you should be arrogant with your beauty, but be humble and appreciative, you know. And the and and a lot of people in this world feel they're not beautiful. You know. And the only reason they feel that way is because they've been listening to too many lies from the media. You know. Oh, everybody looks this certain way, or everybody is this size zero, and everybody is is you know if you're a guy you have to be like super huge muscular on steroids, and if you're a woman you have to be anorexic and in a size zero, and and that's what they put out there what beauty is, and that's cool you know if you are that cool, you know, but not everybody is a clone, you know not everybody is the same and there's no reason we should all be the same we're all different we're all unique we're all supposed to be different that's the whole point we're not supposed to look like anybody else we're not supposed to look like the cover model we're not supposed to look like this dude over here we're not supposed to look like him or her or he or this actress and that's the whole problem is people see somebody on TV oh I want to be like him oh, I need to be like her no, you don't. You are who you are. You are unique. You are beautiful. And that's what the media wants you to think. They want you to think, oh, you're not good enough. I'm not skinny enough. I need to go buy all these products to, so I can lose weight. And it's nothing wrong with improving yourself. There's nothing wrong with bettering yourself and making yourself better. You know, taking care of yourself and all that good stuff. That's cool. But just understand that you are beautiful the way you are. I'm not saying you can't improve. I'm not saying you shouldn't work out or whatever the case may be. I'm just saying that you are beautiful as you are. Love yourself. If you can't love yourself, how can anybody else love you? If you don't love yourself, nobody else can love you. You know, the whole purpose of love is to be able to love yourself with all your flaws. We all have flaws. You know, even those people that you think are perfect, even they have flaws. Even they have bad days. Even they have to be covered up in paint and makeup. Even they have to be photoshopped and, and tweaked out and filtered and have lights. And, you know, pe these people spend thousands of dollars on these sets to get these people to look perfect. Of course, you're they're going to think, oh, I don't live up to that standard, so I'm not beautiful. Well, you don't have people, you know, taking care of you. You don't have, you know, a bunch of lighting and, and, and effects and the best cameras in the world and, and everything else. We're all beautiful. We are all beautiful, and that's all you need to know. You are beautiful. I am beautiful. He is beautiful. She is beautiful. And it doesn't matter what the media says is beautiful. It doesn't matter what your, you know, what people people think. You know, the people who think you're not beautiful, there's something wrong with them. They're the ones that that something is wrong with, not you. You know. And it's not to say you should be arrogant, but, you know, love yourself or you can't love anybody else. And you are beautiful just the way you are. You know, there's a song, you know, 
everything is beautiful in its own way. And that's so true. In your own way. You have something special that nobody else has. You know? You, you have beauty in a way that no one else does. You know? And celebrate that. And the more you celebrate your beauty and the more you love yourself, the more beautiful you become to others. You know? People love people that love themselves and love who they are. You know, I used to knew, know people that embraced who they were and, and celebrated. And they weren't even the best looking people, but you would think they were, you know. But, you know, only, only people trying to get you to feel depressed and bad about yourself are the people trying to sell something. They're trying to sell you a, a pill to make you lose weight or... You know, you need plastic surgery or you need to have, you know, plastic stuffed in your chest to make you feel good about yourself or, you know, just all this crazy stuff that people do because they're not happy with who they are, you know. And when you're, when you're not thankful of yourself and don't appreciate who you are and your body and your image, you're basically saying God made a mistake with me. He made all these other people beautiful, but when he got to me, he made me ugly. He made a mistake. He messed up. He made my nose too big and my breast too small or too big or my I'm too fat or you know whatever the case may be. So you know that's basically what you're saying. Oh, he made a mistake. I don't think God made any mistakes. You know. There's people out here that don't even have arms and legs, and they love themselves more than people that are healthy. You know, I see people out here in wheelchairs that love life more than somebody with legs. And it's just unbelievable how we all go through life thinking we're not good enough. Just because, you know, of all the images that we're fed and all the lies that we're fed repeatedly, we don't even know why we hate ourselves. But we've been programmed to hate ourselves. We've been programmed to think there's something wrong with us. We've been programmed to think that we're not good enough, that we're not beautiful enough. But I'm here to tell you, you are. You know, and you can believe me, you can not believe me. That's fine. All I'm here to tell you is you're beautiful. Love yourself, and God bless you. You know, and... Like I said, if you can't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. So, you know, don't depend. Don't try, you know, people try to get their self-image from the world. And that's the last place you should look to find your self-esteem. Or, you know, the world's always going to tell you you're not good enough. That's all the world does, you know. If you're looking to other people to find your beauty, if you're looking to your boyfriend or girlfriend to make yourself feel beautiful, or if you're looking to some other person to make yourself feel beautiful, then, you know, you need to look inside yourself first. Because if you know you're beautiful, it doesn't matter what, you, what somebody else says. It doesn't matter what the media tells you is beautiful. You know you're beautiful yourself. You know? And as long as you know it yourself, you don't have to have society or other people or the world or the media or anything else tell you what beauty is because you can find beauty in yourself. People can find beauty in the ugliest little dogs you've ever seen. You know? And people say, oh, they're so ugly, they're cute. Well, I mean, that's the way it is. You know, everybody's unique. Everybody has something to bring to the table and appreciate and, and, and bring your gift to the table. Don't be afraid to take your gift to the table because you have a gift just like everybody else, you know. And to think that you're not allowed a seat at the table because you're not good enough or you're not beautiful enough or whatever the case may be, that's just insane. 
You know, you are good enough. You are beautiful enough. And, that, and don't let anybody tell you different. You know? And don't be prideful and arrogant about yourself either. Because that's a whole other topic. But, you know, just appreciate the way, the, your uniqueness, your originality, your individualism. You are an individual. You never were meant to be like that person on a magnet. You never were meant to be like that fake celebrity. You know, half these people are so fake anyway. I mean, I'd much rather have somebody real than somebody fake walking around, you know. But just God bless. Love yourself. You're beautiful. You are who you are. You're who God created you to be. And God bless you for it, you know. And appreciate and love. And that's what it's all about. So God bless.